Hey guys, it's me, it's me, the Nintendo Sony Man here. Welcome you to a brand new Let's Play from Nintendo. Welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. We're in the third generation, here we go. Ooh, well, it's been a long time coming. And this is actually um, <coughs> one of my favorite games. Not, not my favorite, it's one of them. I really actually like 3rd gen, I you know a lot of people are kind of iffy with 3rd gen, but I like this one, it's a pretty good one, you'll see why soon. So let's start this off, let's start this adventure of Pokemon Emerald version, a special edition. Let's do the, oh jeez, <laughs> forgot about this. <clears throat> so, the internal batteries run dry, the game can be played, however clock based events will no longer occur. I will fix that, good sir. Yeah, um, this game cartridge. I'm on the emulator, but the game cartridge, for some reason, eventually will, the battery will run dry, and time-based events like, um, growing berries and stuff won't ever occur, but I can fix it on this emulator. <clears throat> so let's get this started, guys. Seriously, I'm really looking forward to this. Ooh, a new professor! Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. I have to change the speed on that eventually. Welcome to the world of Pokémon. My name is Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Oh, so we're still going on with the tree theme names? That's fine. That's good. I like it. This is what we call a Pokemon. Ooh, it's a, a blue thing with a lily pad on it. That has a piece to cut out. Okay. <clears throat> this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. Sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon, and <laughs> I don't think we ever will. <clears throat> if only Birch knew how many generations after this we got. Oh man. <laughs> In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. More than you know, man. More than you know. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? <clears throat> Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Well, I'm a boy, and also, this is not the first game, probably, probably people might think this is the first game that has the gender differences, it's not. That's Pokemon Crystal introduced the gender, um, that you can choose a boy or a girl. I'm gonna stick with being a boy, I'm fine with that. Alright, what's your name? My name? <clears throat> you want to know my name? You want to know who I am? I am, um, Emerald. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that little line is actually from a movie, Crouching Tiger and Hidden Dragon. Yeah, that's pretty old. <laughs> but I am Emerald. Um, okay. <clears throat> so it's Emerald, yes. Ah, okay. You're Emerald, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Oh, you do? That's good. Little Root. Alright, are you ready? Hmm, I, I don't think I heard that. I said, are you ready? I think so. <laughs> Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendship await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Eh, not quite. <clears throat> Sorry about the coughing. Just had breakfast. Did have the breakfast of champions, but kind of close at Frosted Flakes. I guess that's the true breakfast of champions. But we're in the back of a pickup truck. What? Yeah, this is like the first game where you start off not in your home, but you're like in a truck. 
Why are we here? All right, let me do this right now before I forget. Tech speed, fast. Thank you. Um, do, ooh, frames. Let's change that to, ooh, that looks nice. Let's do that. Oh, that looks much better. All right, um, where are we? Ooh, this is a nice place. I love the music, it's so quaint. Emerald, we're here, honey. Oh, hi, Mom. How you doing? <clears throat> it must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Why couldn't I be in the front seat? Why am I in the back with all the luggage? It's not fair. I'm your son! <laughs> well, this is the root town. Oh, that's nice. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? Yeah, it does. It's very nice. And you get your own room, Emerald. Let's go inside. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> How she said that is <clears throat> like, I never had my own room before. <laughs> like, where did I sleep? <laughs> In that old house, like the living room or something? What? <laughs> I don't get it. Alright, but we got our own room, that's great. Love it. Ten years old, we got our own room. We got a Pokemon moving stuff here. See Emerald? Isn't it nice in here too? Yeah, it's pretty nice. The movers Pokemon do all the work and move of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Emerald, your room's upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad brought you a new clock to clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Alright, that's not- wait, 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 wait. Did you say dad? I have a dad in this game? That's amazing! <clears throat> that's actually really cool. I, I like how they how they acknowledge that you have a father in this game. And he actually plays a pretty important role. You'll see. Let's go upstairs and check out our room. <clears throat> now, if he chooses a girl, I believe this would be pink. So, yeah, it's blue for boy, um, pink for girl, you know, little stuff. Alright, we got a clock here, but it stopped. Oh, well. We gotta set it up! Um, time. I don't think it's gonna really matter for me much here. I'm just gonna put it at, um, 12 p.m. <clears throat> um, yeah. I'm not gonna put it up for my time. It's gonna be generic. It's not the correct time, but I don't really care. <laughs> Emerald, how do you like your new room? That's actually pretty nice. It's small, but I'm, I'm ten years old. Perfect for me. Good. Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything downstairs, too. Well, they were just walking around, so whatever. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Yes, they are. Oh, you should make sure everything's all, on, all there on your desk. Okay. I got a book, though. <clears throat> Alright. Adventure Rule 1. Open the menu to start. Into rule 2, record progress with save. Main plate pages are blank. Okay. <clears throat> well, we got a bag that we actually go into, which is really nice. <clears throat> we got a Nintendo GameCube. Oh, retro. I still got my own, but it's not purple, it's black. <laughs> Game Boy Advance connected. I love that. We got a TV here. Dad might like this program, wherever he is. I don't know what it's about, but we gotta get moving. So let's go to our PC, get our lucky, great potion. As you know, they're in all the games. Um, don't have we we have decorations, but that's not gonna come up until a little later. <clears throat> well, actually, we'll don't have to worry about that until later, because we don't have anything except You don't have anything, don't worry about it. Alright, so let's go downstairs. Ooh, the TV's on. Mom! Oh! Emerald! Emerald! Quick! Come quickly! Alright, what's up? What's up? Look, it's Pelberg Jim! Maybe Dad will be on! Ooh, Pelberg Jim! Nice. We brought you this report from in front, from in front of Pelberg Jim. Aw, oh, I missed it! Nah, he should've called me over sooner! He's been yelling at me! Be like, Emerald! Dad's on the TV! Come quickly! Like, not now. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Is, is my dad's name Dad? Like your, like my mom's name's Mom or something? I hope he has an actual name. Oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name, or as I call him, Prof Birch. <clears throat> he lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. I should. That's really nice. We will do that. <clears throat> and before you asked, um, I, there'll be a way to move faster in this game eventually. Oh, who are you? Hey, if you use a PC, you can store items in Pokemon. <clears throat> the power of science is staggering. Oh, you're the science guy. I love you, man. I 
love you. You're amazing. All right, so this is Professor Birch's house. Let's say hello, as good neighbors do. Though they should have come over to our house and give us a housewarming gift, but you know, eh, times change, I guess. <coughs> oh, hello, and you are? I'm Emerald. Oh, you're Emerald, our next door, our new next door neighbor. Hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Oh, you do. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. I mean, you think. Can you just get call up there, or just, just walk up there? Hi, neighbor. You already have your own Pokemon? Eh, not quite, but I will soon. Let's find your daughter, because I guess that's okay. The room looks like exactly like ours. Except... Oh, she has an orange GameCube. I didn't even know they made an orange one. Oh, there's a Pokeball on the, on the ground. <clears throat> oh! Oh, dear. Huh? Who are you? Um, I'm your neighbor. Sorry for breaking into your room, but your parents said it was okay. So. <laughs> oh, you're Emerald. So you're moving us today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I I have this dream of being friends with Pokemon all over the world. I I heard about you, Emerald, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you'd be nice, Emerald, and that we could be friends. Oh, I'm, I'm the nicest guy in the block. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I, I've just met you, Emerald. <laughs> oh, we got a little nervous Nelly here. Oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Emerald, I'll catch you later. <laughs> see, I get, I, I, I can see we get to the you catch me later. Hey, wait, then why you're at the PC? You're gonna help your dad catch Pokemon, you go to a computer? What, like virtual reality catching or something? Full restored, items ready, and your PC does not... Well, it can heal your Pokemon, but... Oh, you have the same adventure thing, too? Nice. <clears throat> so what's in this Pokeball? It's May's Pokeball. Let's leave it there. Okay, we'll do. Alright, so... Professor Birch isn't here, but his daughter is. He just said hi. Let's go to the, um... Get in my way! Let's go to the... We'll talk to you first. Professor Birch spends days in his lab studying. Then he'll suddenly go out in the wild to do more research. When does Professor Birch spend time at home? Probably never. He's a professor. He's got a lot of stuff to do. Alright, let's go to the lab. <clears throat> Alright, Professor Birch. Wait. Um, professor Birch? Where are you? Hey, do you know where, you, where your boss is? Huh? Professor Birch? Professor's away on field work. Ergo, he isn't here. I mean, field work. <clears throat> oh, let me explain what field work is. It is to study things in the natural environment, like fields and mountains, instead of a laboratory. The prof isn't one for doing desk work. He's the type of person who would rather go outside and experience things rather than read about them here. I changed the text to be on this thing. I did. Okay. All right. So he's out in the field. Interesting. Yeah. I guess he's that the the homebody kind of guy. He likes to experience nature as it is in its natural habitat. Which is actually pretty unique for a professor in this game. I think he's the only one that does that, which is really neat. So he's out there? Well, I thought we couldn't go out in the grass. Hmm, but there's this girl here. Let's see, what you looking at? What you looking at? Um, hi. Hello. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. Scary? What, it's like a door cry out there or something? I doubt there's that scary. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Sure, little girl. I, I'll go out there and see what's happening. I don't have any Pokemon either, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to be able to do. <laughs> Help me! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. Hold all the phones. What's going on? What? Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Oh. Okay. Hello! You over there! Please, help! In my bag, there's a Pokeball! You're being chased around by a raccoon. Can't you, like, have, like, some kind of spray to, like, chew it away or something? Or you should have carried one of the balls with you. You're... Whatever. No, I'm not helping you. Where are you going? Don't leave me like this! Okay, fine. I won't leave you. Alright. So now we've got to choose our first Pokemon. So let's go over the three choices. What do we have, Vanna? 
Why did I do that? That was just random. Okay, so we've got the Chick Pokemon Torchic, the Fire type Pokemon. We've got the Mudfist Pokemon Mudkip, the Water type, and we've got the Wood Gecko Pokemon Trico. So I'm gonna go over a little bit about what they are, and well, oh, how, how how good they are. So. In my experience of playing this game, the easiest Pokemon to use is Mudkip. He's good. He's good against, I believe, the most um, amount of the gym train, uh, gym leaders. Next easiest is Trico, and then the hardest one to use is Torchic. Now I know a lot of people don't like Trico. I haven't seen a lot of playthroughs with Trico, but I actually like Trico. I'm one of the few that do. So we're going to use Trico. That's right. We're using the wood gecko. <clears throat> we're using the wood gecko. There's a reason actually a lot of people don't like Trico. He's the only one of the starters that does not have a dual type later on in his evolution. Alright, so we got Zigzagoon here, level 2. Zigzagoon, your normal, normal type Pokemon, kinda like your Rattataz and stuff. Pretty that looks like it's not that bad, but um Yeah, he's kinda like your HM slave kind of thing. We got Trico here. It was Pound and Leer. Out of the starters, Trico was actually the fastest of all the starters. His speed is amazing. It's actually faster than Blazing, I believe, in this generation, I think. The slowest is Mudkip, but he's like the most offensive. So, yeah, and then um, Blaziken, he's the least offensive, but probably physically the strongest. So we got that tr uh, Zigzagoon down, Trico, level se like 17 experience, I almost said level 17, not right. Phew! I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You were jumped by a Zigzagoon, man, that's just sad. You saved me, thanks a lot, and the props. Oh? Hi, here are Emeralds, yes I am. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab, okay? So, um, I've heard so much about you from your father. Yeah, you heard so much about What did you hear about me? I haven't... This is the first time I'm using a Pokemon. I just moved here. I don't know what else you could have heard about me other than, other than my name. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. What's a... What's a plum? I have no idea what that means. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. I really hope so. If not, well, this is a weird situation. Oh yes, and thanks, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Yay, we got Trico! Now what am I nicknaming it? I haven't actually thought of a nickname. Um, what theme are we going with today? Um... Ah, John, I didn't think of the theme. Oh, um, um, I guess we could go with, because uh, I already did Dragon Ball Z. I already did, um, Yu Yu Hakusho. I guess we'll call you, henceforth. You shall be known as Inuyasha. Not Inuyasha. Inuyasha. That's your name. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Emerald, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see May? I think so. Great, May should be happy to. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. I guess we will. Yeah, I guess we will do just that. Um, so, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, we will go meet up with May and have her teach us what it means to be a trainer. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you do, please press that like button down below, comment and subscribe for more content from me, the Nintendo Sony Man. So it's been me, the Nintendo Sony Man, signing off. And I'll see you guys with more Pokemon Emerald adventures. See you later.